a mile. Well, that's pretty cool. What I did find down at the bottom of a um, very deep hole, that's a very deep hole, was a square nail. So if I have to find a nail, I want to find square nail. So I, I enjoy that, that just, it just gives me, uh, tells me that of course there's old relative to the ground. So I'll take it. Well, I didn't have much luck in Wadsworth. I got one weedy. Um, came here to Kenosha and um, I tried the park last night, um, one of those little city parks, and it was clean. It was like very quiet. I went to another park this morning, just a little while ago before I came here, and it was quiet, super quiet. I came here, I told my wife about these, um, there's some parking spots across from this basketball hoop, and they don't want you to back in. And I presume it's because back in the day they used to back in and turn their lights on to play basketball. And it's a good spot to um, detect that because people would put their lights on the basketball basketball court and then sit out here and of course lose their money if it was dark. And of course that was back in the day before they had lights. And so I'm hunting across there and I had a shallow, nice good tone like three inches looks like a rosy hey and if you can tell me what that is let me know it was in the dirt buried in the dirt Is that like a, a cicada killer larvae? No idea. But let me know. Anyways, three inches down. Looks like 56. I'll take it because I haven't had silver in the last three parks I've been at the event. It's been hunted out big time. And this was my second dig at this new park. So I'll take it. I'm happy. I'm already happy camper. So got silver in Wisconsin. I wanted to get silver in every state, but dang Ohio. <sighs> so kind of interesting. Um, I dug a, just dug a six inch clad. And then next to that silver dime, I dug like a five inch Memorial Penny. So it's going to be kind of weird here, hit and miss. Not sure what's going on. It's a weedy. Almost, does that look like 35 to you? My eyes are so bad. Yeah, 35 I think. Yeah, it's only, it was, it was coming at a really high tone and then a low tone. And of course it was on the edge on this grip on the, and it was on the edge, so it, but it was only like about two inches, three inches down. So still waiting to find more silver. Too bad this ain't real. I haven't got I haven't found a junk ring in a long time. Too bad that ain't real. Jeez. 
Yeah, I'll look at it later. I gotta keep moving on a time limit crunch here. But weird. Almost looks like it's been sized too. Very weird. All right. Moving on. Well, I'm really curious to find out what this is because um, I'm at about seven inches, maybe going to be eight, seven, 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 seven inches, maybe. Um, because oh, 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 Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. This is first dig. First dig. At a new park. Alright, so I wanted to talk about something real quick. Um, so, um, a couple things. This is a couple things. Let's see what yours is real quick. Typical. Non standard 42. Pumped out a lot of those guys in 42, 43, 44. Um, but a couple things real quick about this hole. I like it. It's not all sand, it's got a little crumbly dirt to it. It's nice. And um, let's close my plug up. And I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple things. Um, so here I am. I'm in a, a different city and different town I have no idea the landscape of the land you know the landscape that I'm in I don't know if this is um, a dangerous part of town and um, so uh, I just wanted to say about something about personal safety I could be putting myself at risk because you know I'm um, some dude out in the middle you know a park metal detecting and I could be a target I could be wearing the wrong colors. I could be a target. I could be the wrong shade of skin. I could be the wrong. I could be a target. Um, just all around, you, you got to keep yourself safe. So, what I do, one of the things I do with my, um, it's kind of stupid, but uh, not really stupid, but it's uh, I do phone sharing, sharing location on my phone with Google Maps. Um, so I share my location with my wife, and um, she always knows where I'm at. Um, also, I sh it's one other thing too is if for some reason I get held up or whatever, somebody steals my phone, it's being the, it'll track them so that's one other thing so you got you gotta be mindful of your surroundings I'm always a little nervous about where I go um, especially since I've been traveling because I go to places I think you know I'm, I'm, I'm picking a park um, and I go to it and I don't really know the surroundings I don't know um, what's been going on in this neighborhood um, so always be mindful of that so one of the things I want to talk about is location um, Kenosha has a lot of locations I could pick from and um, I've picked a couple of them and they were the, they were bad locations 
that they were the wrong pick. I knew it right off the bat when I picked a couple of them because they were more towards city center. And everybody, everybody who's anybody goes to city center and probably hits the oldest parks in town. And um, I knew they'd be pounded. Um, the second thing you want to find out about a location is um, is foot traffic. Um, does the area have enough? Um, is it a park that's out in the country and you know the houses didn't get maybe the park's been there for you know 100 years but maybe there's no surrounding houses so it doesn't get a lot of foot traffic um, I decided to choose I chose this particular park um, because uh, it was it's been here pre-1955 because the aerials um, the topographicals didn't help me on this one but um, the aerials showed that it was a park pre-55 and and while it was here in 55, all of these houses around it were here in that aerial photo. So I know that this park had a lot of foot traffic, a lot of community activity in this park. And um, so you, that's one of the things about location. Um, so let's stop talking and let's keep going. Uh, weak scent, worse for the wear. Bent. Looks like 44. I'll mention it again. What is it? <laughs> Always in the plugs I dig. Anyways, I think I got a weedy here. It's a greeny. Um, clean it up a little bit. Wasn't the greatest tone, but if I had to guess what it was, it was going to be probably a weedy. It was down there about six inches along with that guy. See if I can get anything on this guy. And nope. But I think it's a weedy. All right, I'm going to keep going. Well, I spent the last hour walking around the park. I just wish I had more time. There's so many places here in Kenosha that I really want to detect. Uh, so far, just the one silver and, the, and three Wheaties and a little bit of change here and there. But this this little park that I, I, I found here is, uh, is worth, I mean, if I had time, it'd be worth gridding off a lot more. Um, just running out of time. Got an hour here, got an hour there. Heading to Sioux Falls. I'm hoping to uh, do a little detecting in the park there too, so we'll see what happens. So I've got only probably a couple of minutes here before my alarm goes off, but I started gridding across the field here. Just just, just a grid, right? And I think I've got one. I think I got one. I don't have time to grid. I just thought I would grid one pass across the field and uh, see what happens. I've been noticing that like, the memorials here have been coming up really high tones also. Well, that's a good sign. It's not that, and it's not that. Okay.
me. See how, see how deep I am? I'm already at like eight, eight and a half inches down. And the last time I, oh, look at that. It's not even silver. Oh wait, that's, that's not it, is it? Oh, it is silver. Huh. That's quite a ways down there. And I noticed that with the sand here, the dryness in the sand, the coins go really deep. That's another Merc. Looks old. <laughs> Get off me. Got ants on me, it's gonna bite me. I learned about those ants. Boy, they sure do bite. All right, yes. So right before my alarm goes off, got another one. Maybe I'll get another one. You know, if I keep gritting this field, who knows how many silvers I'd get covering every foot. Just a 41? Is that what I see? And that's what it looks like. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Got uh, three silvers in my time in Kenosha. Sha. Another week just gritting away, but my timer just went off, so dang.